The pay-as-you-earn repayment plan has several benefits, but there are also some potential downsides to consider. Limited eligibility. Pay is only available to borrowers who took out their first federal student loan after October 1, 2007, and who received a disbursement of a direct loan on or after October 1, 2011. If you don't meet these criteria, you won't be eligible for pay. Potential for higher payments. While pay offers a low monthly payment cap, your monthly payment can increase if your income increases significantly over time. This means that if you experience a large salary increase, or your financial situation improves, your monthly payment under pay could be higher than it would be under other income-driven repayment plans. Longer repayment term. While pay offers a shorter repayment term than some other income-driven repayment plans, it still requires borrowers to make payments for up to 20 years. This can result in a longer repayment term than some borrowers may prefer. Tax implications. Any amount forgiven under pay is considered taxable income which means you may be required to pay taxes on the forgiven amount in the year that it's forgiven. This can result in a significant tax bill, which can be a disadvantage for some borrowers. Interest capitalization. If your monthly payment under pay isn't enough to cover the interest that accrues on your loans, the unpaid interest will be capitalized. This can increase the total amount you owe over the life of the loan. It's important to carefully evaluate your options and consider your individual circumstances before choosing a repayment plan. While pay can be a good option for some borrowers, it may not be the best choice for everyone. Mm -hmm.